In the thrilling world of motorcycles, one crucial component which plays a vital role in controlling the power and speed is motorcycle clutch. Today, we will dive into a fascinating mechanics of how motorcycle clutch works and explore the key difference between a conventional clutch and a slipper clutch. Let's begin by understanding the basics of a conventional motorcycle clutch. The motorcycle clutch consists of several components with the primary ones being the clutch lever, cable and the clutch assembly within the engine. Inside the clutch assembly, there are alternating friction plates and steel plates held together by springs. When you squeeze the clutch lever, it disengages these plates allowing the engine power to temporarily disconnect from the rear wheel. This disconnection allows you to shift gears without grinding or griming them. When you release the clutch lever, the plates re-engage, transferring the power from the engine to the wheel, propelling the motorcycle forward. However, during aggressive downshifting or braking, a conventional clutch can lead to a rear wheel inability known as rear wheel hopping or scraping. To mitigate this issue, engineers introduced a remarkable innovation called as a slipper clutch. A slipper clutch includes ramps and balls that integrate into a clutch assembly. When the railway tries to spin faster than the engine, during a rapid downshifting, these ramps force the clutch to slip slightly, reducing the engine braking effect on the rear wheel. The slipper clutch action prevents the rear wheel from locking up, enhancing stability and control while cornering or decelerating. One of the latest innovations in the slipper clutch series is slip and assist clutch, where the slipper clutch itself force all the steel and friction plates together while accelerating due to centrifugal force. Because of this, the manufacturer can use lighter springs which will eventually reduce the load on your fingers. Because of this reason, slipper clutch are usually lighter in operation. Irrespective of slipper clutch or conventional clutch, it is very important to use an appropriate engine oil for your motorcycle. Check the markings behind your engine oil can which states that it is rated for MA2 or MA standards. This means that your engine oil is specifically designed to work with a wet multi-plate clutch. Now the biggest question. Can you install a slipper clutch in NS200? And the answer is yes, you can install a slipper clutch in NS200. To understand how to install a slipper clutch in NS200, just subscribe to the channel and keep waiting for further videos.